Research has found that people who daily write a few sentences of gratitude for the things that they feel grateful for became more optimistic, energetic, happier. Also, they were more generous towards others and suffered less from illnesses. How do you explain these results? Obviously, that's how it is. Let's do the same throughout the entire country. Let's take a break. The entire country, for a few minutes, in the middle of the day, or twice a day. And each writes good things about others. What is he grateful to others for? Yeah? What does Kabbalah say about gratitude? That it's the most important thing to speak nicely, favorably in the eyes of others and to hear such things that others tell you. What's worthwhile being grateful for when you get up in the morning? That you got up, that there is light, that there is air, that there is an entire day ahead of you. Obviously, everyone has what to be grateful for. What should we be thankful about in the afternoon? That I went through half the day already. And soon I'm finishing this day and I'm going to go home to rest, have dinner with my family. What should I give thanks for before sleep? That I'm going to sleep and I hope to soon get up and that tomorrow will also be a good day. Now I have a less pleasant question. People that are all the time grateful for things, isn't it like shutting your eyes on all the evil and bad that there is in the world? And what do you have as a result of seeing the evil all the time? It's not that I look for it, it simply finds me. But still, you open your eyes and you see. And there are people that try to see the good in everything. So what's the right thing to do? There is no right here. What's realistic? Realistic is what you want to see when you open your eyes. And then you see what you want. What are you grateful for, Dr. Lightman? That I hope that, nonetheless, I'll be able to correct myself some more and to somehow be better toward the world.